To find wild animals in Alaska, sometimes you have to look down, way down in the water. That's where these humpback whales live. Traveling in a pod, these whales travel to Alaska from Hawaii, attracted by the tiny krill that provides abundant food. This pod is probably in search of food, probably krill. Now sometimes all you'll see is the tail called the flukes. But humpback whales also seem to enjoy slapping their petrol fins on the water surface. Humpbacks have the longest petrol fins of all the baleen whales. This is a behavior that's often seen but not well understood. They could be trying to knock off barnacles or perhaps signaling to other whales. Then again, they may just be doing it because they like it. Humpback whales can be seen doing the same thing with their tails. Listen carefully and you'll hear the slapping along with the hum of the boat's motor. The abundant life that attracts the whales to Alaska's waters is fed by the melting of Alaska's snowpack and recently by the melting of some of Alaska's 100,000 glaciers. Climate change is evident here as glacial melting and calving becomes more common. Those huge chunks of ice float slowly away from the glacier, becoming icebergs. They come in different sizes, with 10% visible above the water and the rest below the surface. So what does all this ice have to do with Alaska's wildlife? Well, it has a great deal to do with harbor seals. An important behavior adaptation is using these icebergs to give birth to seal pups, a place that's safe from most predators. The mothers nurse their pups on their very rich milk, supporting their offspring until they unceremoniously push them into the water to fend for themselves. Stellar sea lions also spend much of their time in Alaska's waters. These are hauled out on the rocky shore. Looking up is another way to enjoy Alaska's wildlife. Bald eagles are abundant here. Doll sheep are also seen in high places, protected in Denali National Park. So are these mountain caribou, seen here in summer, keeping cool in the last remnant of snow. The snow also helps them avoid clouds of biting flies and mosquitoes. These are distinct from the porcupine herd of caribou. These are forest caribou. Red foxes are also seen in Denali. They are newcomers to these latitudes and bad news for Arctic foxes. There's nothing new about Alaska brown bears called grizzlies in the lower 48. There's also nothing new about their infamous appetites. This one claws around for a meal as it awaits the salmon run the spawning migration that's still strong in some Alaskan streams. The dead salmon in the foreground means the run may have already been over for these black bears. 
Bears are well adapted for the long, cold winters in Alaska. There's still lots of wildlife up here. President Jimmy Carter set aside vast wild spaces for national parks, which is good news for wild animals that live here.